Alrighty, this guide is going to be on getting RAM editors uh, set up. Not doing anything with them in specific, but set up. Uh, trying to make videos to reference for different stages of setup or processes for people along the way so I don't have to go over these things every time I make a, another video. Um, so there are two tools that you can use. Um, there is Yapt and there is Param Studio. It'll be pretty much same same as the Dark Souls um, Param editing um, for a lot of that kind of stuff and setup. But just to kind of walk through it here, the link for Param Studio is going to be right here in Tools and Resources um, on the Discord page for uh, Souls modding, and then there is also a GitHub page for Yapt. Um, both of them are fairly intuitive to use. They might require you to download a uh, like Microsoft Net or Windows Net Core um, update or something like that, but that's not really a big deal. Um, these will require your game to be unpacked using UXM, so do make sure you check that out and also that you have your um, anti-cheat turned off and you're offline if you do any edits or go into the game with edits made you will get banned if it flags those changes while you're online so make sure you clear that stuff out um, without further ado here though we'll get into getting them set up um, i already have them downloaded and extracted into a little Elden Ring mod folder here uh, i don't prefer yapped usually but i will show getting it set up here so once it's all extracted you can just launch the executable here you will want to go to File, change this drop down to Elden Ring, click Open, go to your game file here, and then you will select the regulation bin, open that up. It really shouldn't change anything for me here because I already had it opened. And then if you want to go into Tools, you can go to Tools, Import Names, click Yes, and then that will give you a lot more information to work with on some of this stuff. Um, some of these things are going to be blank still because it's still in progress and a lot of these things I believe are actually filled in manually by people. So um, don't be too testy if there's fields that are empty. Um, so then, yeah, here's here's Yapt. You can utilize that in any way that you uh, would have utilized Yapt in uh, prior games. So we'll close that one out and then we will run Param Studio here because I like Param Studio more. Um, we're gonna just click that and get that opened up here. What you wanna do from here is you can click Param Editor, Map Editor's not gonna do any good right now. Go to Param Editor, File, and then New Project. You'll wanna just give it a name. I'm just gonna do ER Test 69. Uh, and then you'll want to give it a directory for where your changes and stuff is going to go. If you don't have one in your game directory, I would say just go ahead and make a new folder named mods or mod or output, whatever you want it to be. I'm just going to do mods, we'll select it as our output, and then you're going to want to select your game executable here as well. And then load default row names, you're going to want that clicked or else you're not going to have any names or information filled in at all. It'll kind of spin out on you for a second here and then it should crap out a bunch of info for us. So now here we are with all of these goodies. Uh, we'll look at Buddy Param which is all of the spirit ash summons. So here you can see those, here's all of them, here's the IDs for them, you can click on them, look at their info, blah, blah, blah. You can make changes on all that kind of stuff and play around. There's a lot of stuff you can do with params, like I've said in my other Dark Souls 3 param videos, but uh, that is all you really will need for uh, getting these programs up and running. And then uh, I will have a couple more guides coming out here, hopefully either maybe today or in the next couple of days on um, doing some fun little param editing, like setting up custom spirit summons or 
uh, changing effects or shop stuff if I can figure out how that works. But uh, I'm not going to get too ahead of myself and make promises I can't keep in the next few days. But um, there you go on getting some some setups going. If you have any issues, let me know or reach out to the uh, Dark Souls modding server and uh, ask about. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys, and I will catch you again in the next round of things.